Yeah, guys, the Kelly campaign, let's start with them. They're still feeling pretty confident, even as this race has tightened up. After all, they declared victory after the AP called this race earlier this morning and point to their lead. But if you talk to the McSally campaign, well, a source close to them says that as, they, as they've seen these race tighten, well, that's exactly what they want to see and what they need to flip the script. Arizona was going to be under a microscope this year in a way that we haven't been before. Secretary of State Katie Hobbs knows that Arizona and every vote under watch as the margins between Biden and Trump, Kelly and McSally start to slim. We're going to maybe get an indication the direction of those votes when Maricopa County releases more vote totals. See, when the first results started to roll in, Mark Kelly had a 12 point lead. Two hours later, he was on stage with an almost victory speech. Now, some of you watching tonight did not vote for me, and that's okay. I'm gonna be your senator too. But that lead is now in the single digits, and there are still hundreds of thousands of votes to count, and a source close to the McSally campaign says these recently counted ballots are breaking their way and tracks with their path to victory. When the votes are counted, that we're gonna be successful in this mission. The Kelly campaign, though, remains confident, declaring victory after the Associated Press called the race on Wednesday, and they also point to a six-figure vote lead that they still maintain. Now, to be clear, NBC is not calling this race yet, and we may actually start to learn a little bit more as there's going to be another batch of results that is going to be released by Maricopa County, where most of the ballots are still out within the next hour or so. We'll make sure to keep you updated when that happens. But for now, well, we'll keep watching as we get closer and closer to see who's going to represent us in the U.S. Senate. But for now, we're live in Tucson. Michael Doudna, 12 News.